that I'm talking to. Remember the uh, tree that we helped in um, the Blood Moon Island? Blood oh, Island? right, yeah. This is her spirit. Ah. Well, it. I, <laughs> I love the confusion with the three choices. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we so were him, her, him. It. You're only happy to help. Yeah. Ask, ask who she, he, it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, you know very. It's like what? <laughs> what? I'm now almost. I'm, I'm, I'm not almost as spooky as the elf you're talking to. Yes, you are. I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks. We got a we got an apparition that I'm talking to. This is that uh, tree from uh, Blood, uh, Blood Moon Isle that we helped after we killed the, uh, the, what was it? Was it the apprentice or was it? I can't even remember his name. Uh, yes, the advocate. Thank you. He was the uh, doctor's advocate. I'm going to go with one. I am a projection of the spirit of Elenessa. The yeah, demon I, I is my... dead. I am no longer his slave. You have my gratitude. And in recognition of all that you've done, I shall give you the spirit of an elven morning star. What? Made of pure source, it will pierce your enemy's armor. I know you shall use it in the service of good. Fare oh you well, demon slayer. Fare oh, you well. It's a two-handed mace. And it scales with strength. It is less... Oh! 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 It doesn't do physical damage. Oh, it does magic damage? No, it does piercing damage. It ignores shielding. It ignores, yes, it ignores armor. <laughs> it literally ignores armor. This ethereal morning star glimmers with source and shadow. It is capable of piercing the armor of an opponent and sucking their very life force. Yes, it has 15% life steal. Very nice. Granted, it is lower damage. Oh, but it's unbreakable. That adds, well, it, you know, it might do less damage, but you essentially are already like skipping half of the enemy's health in the first place now. Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, Shoran just did bring up a good point. I still need to not knock the armor off in order to actually knock them down. Yeah, that is true. So, I mean, even though it's nice, probably not the best. Yeah, and then plus, once the armor is gone, then you lose the benefit, basically. Yep. But you can, um... Straight away, which I mean, it's nice, but with how we tend to do things, we tend to focus on stripping off the armor and stuff anyway. All right. So here is what I say we're going to have to do. We're going to need, uh, of course, invisibility potions. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, Mag, what is your helmet currently? Uh, it's a uh, Vote Charlin. Uh, it's 158 physical, 72 magic. 
Oh, I got one for you. Okay, then also plus two finesse, plus two constitution, plus three wits, water resistance, two huntsmen, and some HP, immune to charm and terrify. Yeah, but you, some of that you got from adding that uh, artifact to it. Yeah. But, uh, ooh. How about okay. one? 244 physical armor. Okay. 175 magic armor. Mm -hmm. Plus two wits. Plus one scoundrel. Plus one hydrosophus. Plus one summoning. Stats aren't those skill stats aren't crazy, but at least the scoundrel will give you crit chance, yeah. and it grants you searing daggers. Interesting. They're not gonna do much because I don't have the intelligence that goes with them. <laughs> now here is another choice, and that's a necklace. Five intel, two con, one scoundrel, one arrow thirty, one perseverance. I'm still thinking, probably leaning toward. Well, you know, to you right now, armor means nothing. Yeah, it doesn't mean much anymore. Yeah. Well, except well, they still have to chew through it for yeah. to actually get your. Losing seven finesse. When that's the stat that, you know, that basically determines how much damage I do. Yeah. Hopeful pilgrims take the path of blood. I mean, the only other thing here would be a necklace, but I don't think, I think you got a better necklace anyways. Yeah, it's got a root slot. It gives me like 300 magic. Well, I think Fane and Midnight could probably use this one. This is also another one with a um, empty slot. What are the what? Five intelligence, two constitution, one scoundrel, one arrow thirty, and one perseverance. I mean the clothes, not the amulet. Oh, the clothes. So the sandals here are plus 10 water resistance, one sneaking, two initiative, plus one movement, and plus three dodging. It's 88 physical and 400 magic. And this is the only one that you could wear. Zolda's sandals. Would be... Nearly 300 uh, magic ammo better than me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, in that case, yeah, you definitely need that. Alright, sending I, uh, You can look in my inventory. Yeah, let me... Uh, don't forget to put some nails into that. So you don't slip. Hmm. Oh, the necklace. I could also do a set of nails to combine into my boots. You need set? Yeah, I can do some nails. I could do you nine? Just one will do. Send it to you, Mag. Thank also you. sent you something else. And there's some arrows as well. So what are some of the other things that I can do? Gloves, constitution. See, that's the weird thing. I didn't do constitution. Um, you said the heart string amulet to fame? Heart string to fame? Give me a second here. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed majesties. Didn't even let us surrender. Warven wedding interrupted by Lord Warpin. Nah. Nah. Yeah. So good. Uh, he's fine. Put an eye to him. Yep. You know, that shield, that Lion Keeper, I wouldn't mind that one that you have in your inventory. Also, you still have a belt that needs to be uh, identified. Oh, 
And a wand that needs to be identified in your inventory there, Midnight. Identified a two handed sword. Probably not better than what I'm going to be using. Yep, not better. Wand is. Eh. Constitution, bartering, lucky charm, and an initiative. Which one? The uh, wand? Yeah. Sure. Void woke attacks increase. Citizens warned to be alert. Strength one. I got some finesse. Oh, geez. I don't think these finesse pants are actually good for you. They're in my inventory. They're 257, 164, 10 fire, 10 earth resist, and then two initiative. Let's send it over? Sure. To make it easier to prepare. So, my ult goes to you. Funny enough, they are the same defensive wise. The difference is the one I have gives me leadership and perseverance and HP, and the other gets resistance and H and initiative. Cranley uh... Huber publishes latest edition. New book already out of date. You've got to fight you and I've got one, you know. Jake, hold. Yeah. I got your blood vial. You got my blood vial? Yep. Okay, go ahead and send it to me just so I can have it to be on the safe side. <laughs> <laughs> Red Prince's blood vial. Oh, no fun for me? No. All right, let's see I welcome what you do I need for making train. those we invisibility potions. I need... I serve all who seek aid, sir. I need... All those broken arrows. You've got Chantiel. Well, it's Queen a mushroom. I serve all who seek aid, sir. Midnight may have some because I know Midnight used to be walking around with all of our stuff previously. You have all those. Uh, I do. No. Oh yeah, the, and the the system in this game is so stupid that it actually doesn't um, look inside bags. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed magisters. Didn't even let them surrender. Uh, Sean Turrell? Not too loud. Yes. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? Arx is still a free city. Last time I checked. There's bodies in the streets. This place isn't free, not anymore. 
I heard that the Pray Paladins you, called on Arms Majesty didn't even let them Nathan surrender. We shall talk. Too loud. What do you think the Paladins would do to us if they heard you going on like that? Anything else you need? Arx is still a free city. Um, Last time I checked. That's really it. And that's the thing. It's just got to find it across out. all these ones. What will it be? Another one. Boy, I'm not picky. As long as the arrow flies straight. Oh, trumpets of death. If you have trumpets of death, buy, uh, send them as well. Because uh, those are the resist all. What a pile of junk. Business must be booming for you. All them broken weapons. Dead magisters don't tend to bite. You need more than wits on these wild streets. I help you to know and understand. The elf raises her head and oh, peers down her nose at magic you. Magic right at your fingertips. Actually, oh my damn god, I actually found your a better uh, a better set of boots for you there, Mag. The most oh, really? marvelous magic right at your fingertips. <clears throat> Let me read these stats here for you. <clears throat> Uh, three finesse, two, uh, two wits, one scoundrel, one sneaky, one thievery, plus six initiative, plus 0 0.5 mo movement, immunity to knockdown, immunity to crippled, magic. and immunity right to slowed. <laughs> so boots, not uh, leggings. Yeah, boots. But they have no magic armor. Oh. <clears throat> All they have is 126 physical. But yeah. This is a place for scholarly pursuits. You yeah, do not look she sniffs loudly for now. Okay. I don't expect a great intellect. She nods silently. We are done. I'm just looking around at vendors to try to find vendor. welcome. You know, what stuff. brings you but all done. Shall I give you the books to uh, sell? Yeah, go for it. I help you to know and understand. I help you to know and understand. You have the trust of Lord Arthur. I help you to know and understand. Good wishes, my cup. Need anything magical? Yeah. Any oh, wait, yes. Sahela. What? Sahela. The oh, elf? She's here. The elves suffer, oh. but As the elves have. still stand. You have not seen the end of us. The mother stands tall. The war of the races approaches. The elves shall stand. You shall not see the end of us. Hmm. She's, uh, she seems a well, bit mad. If the war of the races is going to happen, well, good thing our side is still getting their dragons in. <laughs> Are we still mad about this? Yeah, I can imagine that you that a staff dragon thing would have probably been pretty damn good with all your summoning buffs. Greetings, stranger. I've little for sale, wisely chosen. Most marvelous. 
marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Okay, so this <clears throat> this is weird. Oh. I have an elf over here <laughs> that is selling body parts that are unique. <laughs> oh, okay. Most marvelous magic, right? Unique body parts. parts. Yeah. yeah. The mummified hand of the long dead Lord Eridor. When you pick it up, sparks fly from his desiccated fingertips. And Lenore, uh, Lan uh, Lanalore's head, the mummified head of the long dead wizard Lanalore. Uh, hold on here. Most well. marvelous magic, right at your And yeah, the, gle the divine gleam of source radiates from his eye sockets. Well, he wants to give Fane some more skills. I love that it says it doesn't fit in any inventory. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, so that's something we've completely forgot to do. Yeah, I know. Turn Fane into a human. Eh. I know. That's something we haven't done in a while. But, you know, it's nice to have him actually um, be able to have a little bit more armor. Mm. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. No, oh, he gets more armor in his skeleton form. Well, no, because the actual helmet, the thing that changes him, has no armor at all. Oh, whatever happened to the face terror? The thing is, is even when you do that, it's a mask that you then have to put on in place of your helmet. Oh. So you okay. still lose out on an armor slot. Uh, all right, Fane. Let's turn you into something. Turn you into an elf. Let's eat these body parts to see what happens. I mean... <laughs> hooray for cannibalism. Yes, hooray for cannibalism. Yes. <laughs> that was disgusting. Yet now I have that oily power within me. Worth it? Worth it. Do you want to listen to what Fane just said? Uh -huh. Just, Just... Just see what he said when he ate a uh, ate one of the unique parts. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pyroclastic <laughs> eruption. Oh my. Um. What? It takes five geomancy, which I don't have, but it's a source skill. On impact, they create over these surfaces and deals 1500, almost 1600 damage to 1767 earth damage. All right. I'm not on earth. I'm eating the, I'm eating the head now. Those eyes. Those eyes. Those eyes. Those eyes. I don't know what made yeah, them, gleam, made them so. gleam so. Apotheosis. Apotheosis. Ooh, he got the polymorph skill free. All right. What's the I hand? can feel Lord Eridor's power surging through me. Fiery. My fingertips are up. Meteor shower. Ooh. That's literally three source uh three high tier source skills nice meteor show something for me fire no midnight he got it by eating a head a uh, hand yeah but you, you, you no but no no wait no midnight is a skeleton he could have changed yeah he could have can't change too um we could reload and uh oh when I was the last save before we, before we I talk to him, I marvelous magic I think. right at your fingertips. Let me double check. Fourteen. Yep, it was before I did any of the buying. 
Okay, very good. Yeah, let's get, let's get mid yeah, midnight. Let's get, uh, let's let you call down the stars to fall upon our enemies. Yeah, meteor shower. Especially seeing source skills are going to be free in the final battle. Don't we just get a minus one? No, we get a minus three. Ah. At least I think we do. From what I remember, it's a minus three. Okay. It should be, but... Yeah, I was... I was... Uh, hmm. yeah. uh, not, not like I have any sword skills. I can really take advantage of that. Because my, my, I'm more focused on big game hunting, it turns yes, out. Yes, you're a big game hunter. So, the target we have to kill is Brack. Brackus Rex. That's all we have to kill. And that's the problem. Brax is small. You can kill the Kraken. Yeah, but I'd much rather just spend that AP on softening up Brackus more. You yep. know? Mm hmm exactly. I mean, if, if, I mean, if the fight were... If so it, I'm going to send you the hand, but don't eat it yet. Because you have to be an elf in order to actually get the benefit. That I know. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Wait, what? Hey, Midnight, you got to come over here. I cannot transfer it. I cannot, like, send it to you. You have to pick it up. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Oh, no. You actually have to buy it. Yeah, because you did just talk about how, you know, it doesn't actually go into your inventory. Well, like, it is in my inventory, but, like, I can't move it out of my inventory. Oh. Uh, Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. All right, this here comes Like, I'm trying to. So, Midnight, what I'm going to do... Why don't you disconnect really quick? And then I'll take control of your character. I'll have him eat the, the hand from my inventory, and then you can... There we go. There we go. So let me do this really quick. Do -do. Over to midnight. Send that to the Moga. All right, change yourself into an elf. All right, and now let me eat the hand. I can feel Lord Eridor's power surging through. Go, free meteor shower. Now let me get the off of you. Let me send that to Fane again. Okay, Disconnect you. you. Yep, go ahead and reconnect. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. I will take the... I will then eat the other two. Those eyes. That. Alright, so I just need to get a few things of geomancy. I, I only need, like, two. Nice. So I think I'm going to... Why do I have one scoundrel? I can't remember why I have one scoundrel. You had a mischievous phase. Now, I think it's a skill that I need it for. I want to double check before I get rid of it. But I don't think it is. Did you at some point have adrenaline Most on it? Marvelous magic right at your uh, nope. I don't know why I have a uh, one skill in the scoundrel. I think maybe I was going to get it, but I never got it. Maybe. All right, let me go do some changing with Fane really quick. I just need to get two more. Oh. 
think I know where I can take it from. 